Yeah. Well, it's No Man's Sky bubble pipe time. As you can see, I've got some scaled items. So the first thing we do is we select the bubble pipe. We hit square and triangle on the PS4 at the same time. Select the large item. The other platforms, bottom left corner, move it into position. Then hit the place and wire button at the same time. Other platforms, bottom corner, and we've scaled up an item. Right, let's do that for the shrunk item. As before, we do the universal agency, cash glitch. Hit triangle and square at the same time when you've selected the item. Move it in position and hit place and wire at the same time. Now as you can see here, you can't use snap because it resizes it back to normal. But for now, we've got two items that we can work from. We're going to select the cylinder, put it in place. Copy the large bubble pipe. Turn off snap for the obvious reasons. Let's see what merging issues we might have. As you can see from here, you've got to position your camera around a little bit and you can force it in so much. I'll slowly creep that in, see how far in we can get. As you'll notice, there's a point right in the center that stops you pushing it all the way through. That's probably a stick frame that's used in its creation. That invisible skeleton is also the reason why it sits on the side like that. But let's blend some items without glitching. I'm going to select that bloom light, scale it up. But I don't think I should go all the way out, so I'll leave it just that size there. Now I'll delete the cylinder, copy the large bubble duct, as you can see, I can get past that problem we were having earlier. Spend a little bit of time lining it up. There you can see, perfectly merged. Let's try a different item for a different height. Those drawers seem to allow me to perfectly merge as well. Let's try some light boxes. Scale up some items on top of the light boxes. Remember to delete the item underneath. Trying to merge them from above doesn't quite work. It feels as though the top and the bottom of the bubble pipes is the bit that's awkward to get round. So if you want to merge some items without glitching, this is probably the best method just to raise it up a little bit and you'll be okay. As you can see, I've laid down some wires and I'm just putting my large bubble pipes on top of them. Just pull a wire like this. And then try and get the bubble pipe as close to the centre as you possibly can. For wire glitching something into the pipe, check the size. That plant is too big. Banjo's wire glitch, select the item, go into the wire menu, move the cursor to connect the point, and hit the place and wire button at the same time. Buttons are in the bottom left hand corner. That cactus plant is going to breach the edges, and there's no way of scaling it down through this glitch method. Let's do the one where I've got the three wires laid down, and I'll glitch a couple of more items before we move on to the next section. Let's scale down this plant. Copy the large bubble duct and place it on the floor underneath. Let's scale up this light, see how this works. Move the camera, get in a better position. you notice when I move the item, it deletes the one that's inside. Let's place that pipe. Let's scale up a statue this time. Mm -hmm. 
apply one more statue before we move on. And just in case you want to know, I'm two short walls down. Let's free place a bubble pipe. And as you'll notice, the angle's wrong. To get round that, you're going to have to put a cube down and line it up. And yes, I adjacency from a cube to a cylinder for no reason. <laughs> then adjacency from cylinder to pipe. Glitching gets so easy, it starts becoming an easier method than just going through the snaps. Okay, my pipe's lined up with the floor. Let's place a few more. Okay, let's at this point turn off snaps and free place them. Best you can, get it as lined up and as exact as possible. Do the same at the other end. When you turn snap back on, you'll notice there's two snap points inside the pipes now. So essentially, you can double up the pipes and the bubbles go in two directions. I'll let you watch me messing around with the additional snap points, or I'll come back with the next example. Okay, let's make a copy of the large bubble pipe. Carefully place it. Copy the large bubble duct again. Line it up and get it as close as possible to the first one. We're going to do that several more times. Okay, the last one for now, there you have it, a wall of bubbles. 
The items I did earlier look a lot better in daylight. Oh, and a side note, you can't add textures and colours, but I think there's a way to glitch the colours and textures on. In the previous video, I tried to teleport inside them. It failed then, but putting more items on top, it looks as though it's going to fail again. But you could make a bubble lift. So if you want to know how I did that, I'll put a link to the previous video here. I'll make another copy of the bubble duct, move it to the roof, and as you can see, it takes the angle. But when you copy the angled item, it retains the angle, so watch out for that. Okay, let's make a copy of the large bubble duct, place it against this wall, repeat that step a few more times and make it nice and tight. Delete the scaffolding, and you have a bubble roof. In fact, with a combination of enlarged item, free placing, probably make a bubble house. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, hit that like and subscribe button, or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later.